or if you press the engine fire push button. The BMC will take care of all the headache for you, over temperature, over pressure, leak, etc. Hello pilots, shall we blow some air up your So many functions this bad boy has. First off, we need high pressure air for air conditioning. We will talk about air conditioning in another video. Number two, air to start the engines. Number three, wing anti-ice, particularly on the leading edge of the wing where the system is. Number four, to pressurize the water. On the ground, the APU is one that does the water pressurizations in the laboratory. Number five, if you remember in the last video, we need pressurization for the hydraulic system. Do check out my video on hydraulic system. Number six, it is used for cargo heating if installed. Number seven, and finally, for fuel tank inerting system. Do check out my video on the fuel system where I dive deep into the topic. So question, where do all the high pressure air come from? It comes from the engine bleed system, the APU, and also the high pressure ground connection on your aircraft. As usual, we have computers controlling the system. And the fancy name is Bleed Monitoring System or BMC for short. If BMC1 fails, BMC2 takes over. The BMC will gather all the info about the bleed pressure temperature and valve position and display it to us pilots via ECAM. To save fuel, air is taken from the intermediate pressure stage of the high pressure compressor. But if the engine is turning very slowly, then the high pressure compressor kicks into action or in other words, air is bled from the high pressure stage to maintain 36 plus minus 4 PSI. Newer aircrafts have the ballpark pressure of 65 plus minus 15 PSI. Let us talk about pressure regulation. Pneumatically, the bleed valve closes when the upstream pressure goes below 15 PSI or if there is a return flow. Or you can close it electrically if you switch off the bleed push button or if you press the engine fire push button. The BMC will take care of all the headache for you, over temperature, over pressure, leak, etc. Special note, if APU bleed is on and cross bleed valve is shut, engine bleed valve 2 remains open. Now let us talk about temperature regulation. There is a pre-cooler that takes air from the engine fan to control the temperature about 200 degrees Celsius. For newer aircrafts, it is about 160 degrees Celsius. Now, let us talk about the APU. When you switch on the APU bleed, the cross bleed valve opens and closes the engine bleed automatically provided the APU speed is above 95%. Speaking of cross bleed, the valve can connect both sides or isolate it. Two electric motors control this baby. One automatic, one manual. Hey pilots, I'm interrupting my own video to ask you. Do you feel out of touch in flying and struggling to remember the sequence of workflow? Which button to press, when to press, during taxi, climb, cruise, descent, or maybe you are new to the A320 and finding it hard to remember where all the placement of buttons. Well, I have a solution for you. We have produced incredible videos for CM1, CM2 workflow, pilot flying, pilot monitoring workflow for every phase of the flight. Before start, after start, taxi, takeoff, climb, cruise, descent, approach, landing, after landing, and parking, and in simple bite-sized videos that you can watch anytime, anywhere. 
If this is for you, then DM me on Telegram at CaptainSQA320. Link is in the description. And now, let's get back. The BMC, BMC1 and BMC2 is responsible in detecting leak from the wing, pylon or APU. Loop A and B for the wing and pylon and a single loop for the APU. Remember that BMC will control over pressure, over temperature and wing leak. If one fails, the other takes over. APU bleed leak warning is lost if BMC1 fail. Okay, let us have a look at the overhead panel. Engine 1 and Engine 2 bleed push button. It is on when the upstream pressure is above 8 psi or when the APU bleed is not online. Also, if the engine fire push button is not popped out, you get the fault when there is overheat, overpressure and leak. If it is off, then you are closing the high pressure valve and bleed valve. APU bleed. It is on when end rotation is more than 95% and there is no leak. Off and the valve closes. Fault when there is a leak. Cross bleed selector, auto and cross bleed valve open when APU bleed valve is open. It is closed automatically when APU valve close or when there is a leak. Open means, well, open sesame. Shut and the valve is closed. Simple. Let us move on to the ECAM page. This is the high pressure valve. If it is cross line, that means it is closed. If it is in line, it means that it is open, obviously. Amber means it is supposed to be closed but it's open instead. Engine bleed valves. Inline means open, cross line means closed. Amber means it is not behaving. The PSI here is the pre cooler inlet pressure. The BMC controls this and becomes amber below 4 psi and above 60 psi. The numbers here is the pre-cooler outlet temperature in green and turn amber if it overheats or becomes too cold. How cold? Below 150 degrees Celsius. APU bleed valve. Cross bleed valve. High pressure ground connection. Wing and TIs is on. Engine 1 and engine 2. You get a memo display when APU bleed is switched on. 